Do you want to know how a high-performance scooter like the Nami Klima handles a long-range, high-speed commute through New York City? Stay tuned because that's exactly what we're doing in today's ride. Good morning, everyone. This is Ivan, and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. It's good to have you on board. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the intro, we are on the Nami Klima. We're gonna be doing a long range route for the Klima. We're gonna be taking it through Queens, through Brooklyn, and into Manhattan with a bunch of elevation changes and some high speed riding. So we will see how the battery holds up. We started this ride in X mode, no turbo, with 100% battery around 67 volts. And we'll see how many we'll have left after the 14 miles are done. I'll also have chapters built into the video so that if there's a part that you want to watch over again, and if there's a section you want to revisit, you can jump around and rewatch your favorite sections. We're also running the Relive app here, which we forgot to turn on, but we are running the Relive app so that we can track the whole ride and catch all the stats. At the end of the video, we'll put up the average speed, the top speed, etc., and things like that for the Klima on this ride. You're probably wondering, Ivan, why do you have the Klima? <laughs> Shout out to Chuck for lending me his personal scooter. Chuck, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, the reason why I have the Klima is because my Burn E is undergoing some upgrades right now. And it's going to be a few days till it's ready. So my friend Chuck has been gracious enough to lend me his personal scooter to ride around. If you're up, if you're curious as to what upgrades are going into the Nami Burn E, I ordered a couple of parts from uh, Michael Shaw, and the Nami team, and we got the steel steering column to reinforce the aluminum. We got a new dashboard display that's a little bit brighter. Actually, I also ordered a few brake pads from him, so looking forward to having some fresh brakes. We did just hit 2,000 miles on the Bernie, so really excited to get some new brakes on there, a new display, and that stronger steering, steering column. But enough about the Bernie. We are here for the Klima today. So we are taking the Brooklyn Bridge route today because we have some extra time before work. And I really want to see how the Klima does. Uh, if you haven't seen my first impressions video on the Nami Klima, I'll be putting the card here for you to check out. But That is a fun little video that I made where, while riding it for the first time. And this time, now we're taking it on a actual commute. This is, this is fun. I, I don't really want to push the Klima as hard as I would like because it's not my personal scooter, but you can tell, man, this thing is zippy. It's 
So just to kind of give you an idea right now, uh, with all my gear and the stuff in my backpack uh, for work, I'm roughly about 215, 220 plus pounds. So that should factor in to the range that we have. Yeah, the scooter's super stable at speed. Super stable. I don't think you even need a steering damper on this thing. But yeah, like I was saying, 220 pounds and the cold should affect the range a little bit but not too much it's about 55 degrees so it's not too crazy and we're not leaving x mode we're keeping this guy in x mode the whole time I'm so jealous that this is Chuck's scooter. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my Bernie, but this thing is a lot of fun. Here we go again. I'm continuing with it. This is a lot of fun. People were saying, Ivan, is that the only thing you know how to say about the Klima? This is fun? I'm like, well, it's fun, man. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say, you know? Uh, seven minutes in, we went from Queens and we are now flying through Greenpoint, Brooklyn. So, making some good time. I don't trust this guy. Also, Jesus Christ, almost got killed. See, that's why he's. That's why you stay in complete full attention while you ride in New York. Jesus. I forget that my horn is on the right, or Chuck has his horn on the right side and on the scooter, I have mine on the left. And uh, here we are, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. So far, we're making pretty good progress, y'all, so. See how the Klima does. Oh Lord, oh Lord. <laughs> That's where the harder tires, you really feel it. And this thing is like super quiet too. I didn't notice that before. Forgot that we are going down here. Yeah, so as you can tell, this is uh, some pretty aggressive riding that we're doing here. So, a lot of stop and go, a lot of accelerating. And I'm curious to see how much battery we have left after the uh, 14 miles of hard riding. Let's 
stoop. It's crazy how even the uh, the U the USPS trucks get tagged up in New York. You guys can be proud. Uh, I don't need navigation anymore. <laughs> but I've finally done this route enough times where I can finally make my way through downtown Manhattan without getting lost. So exciting times. Exciting times. Brooklyn Navy Yard already. And we should be at the Brooklyn Bridge shortly. 15 minutes in and we've covered five miles so it's quite nice we usually stay there on the right side but we're speeding through a little bit I'm kind of mad I didn't wear my uh, my sun visor it was supposed to be a cloudy day today and I finally found my clear visor so I was super excited to wear it but now it's like the sun is out and I'm like squinting myself to death here I will say the Nami Klima inspires a lot of confidence in the rider. So I would probably say for y'all riding a, a high performance scooter for the first time, be very careful. Um, please wear body armor and then please wear a full face helmet. I will tell you when I crashed on my unicycle and my face was dragging on the ground. I was so grateful that I was wearing a full face helmet. You'll appreciate it once you go through your first crash. Crash. And you know, when it comes to riding around on these things, well, anything in general, Bicycles, bikes, e-bikes, motorcycles, unicycles, whatever, whatever your form of transpo is. It's always a matter of when not if, so please. The one thing I have noticed about the Klima is as smooth as the suspension is, it is stiffer than the Burn E. It's also probably because I'm running 47 PSI versus 30. Stop behind. City that's okay. I'll go around now. Thank you. And the approach to Brooklyn Bridge. One of the best views as far as approaches.
I take that corner a little bit more cautiously because it is a blind corner. And as you can tell by the cyclist in front of me, that these this uh, bike lane that they built for us is very narrow. So you gotta be a little careful with that. in covered almost nine miles so making really good really good time yeah we went super stable at high speeds oh, I hope I can make this left I hope I can make this left I hope I can make this left back into navigating traffic it was nice to have the open road while it lasted so this is uh, where we had that group ride we're taking West Street up to Midtown. I just gotta be careful of the popo. Yeah. Get it, Klima. Shattered rim area. Not today. Not today. seen this before. Huh. Oh. Oh, look at that. They're actually fixing the absolutely crap roads. What a concept, right? What a concept. I have no problem keeping up with traffic here. I'm gonna continue to say these tires are great actually. Now that I put what, 11 miles on it? I'd say the tires are actually really good. I mean, get the PMTs if you want like a more grippy experience, but this is plenty of grip. choice on these uh, CSTs. It's good to see, good to catch the green wave here. No, 
it's it's interesting because I've seen a lot of folks on the in the group complaining about the Klima's stability at high speeds. I don't think there's any issues with stability here. Like it's it's plenty stable at high speeds. Like we were literally cruising at at max speed there for for a while. Very Saturday. This is this is a lot of traffic. You know what? I think we're gonna get off of here and we're gonna yeah, we're gonna follow this cab. about uh, 13 miles in now with uh, very aggressive riding the battery is holding up really well so that's pretty much worried for no reason of this oh that is a giant pothole I don't even know if you would consider that a pothole more of a crater This is where the smaller form factor of the Klima comes in handy. Throw in the flip-flops. Potholes are crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Almost died there. Those potholes were the size of my tires. Holy Christ. Alright everyone. Sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties with the uh, my camera here. It got loose. <laughs> I, I heard it kind of jiggling around. And I was like, oh no, that's not good. That is not good. So I had to stop there for a second and uh, remount. Remount the camera. And then we'll go around here. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty everyone, so we, we're continuing to have some camera difficulties here. So I want to thank you for accompanying me on this ride to work. Uh, I'll be putting up the uh, relive portion here. Good evening, everyone. How are you? 
you know I wasn't going to do a ride home video but I thought this was uh, really important to share especially because uh, we had some technical difficulties earlier but I kind of wanted to show you why IP rating is so important here in New York City. As you can tell earlier, it was really, really nice outside. Uh, the sun was shining and I was complaining why I didn't bring my visor. Uh, then all of a sudden now, we've got this craziness. It was just pouring like cats and dogs a little earlier. And then now it stopped. But this is why IP rating is so important because next thing you know, the roads are wet and if your scooter or PEV isn't IP rated, you're basically done for. But yeah, uh, that's why I wanted to do this quick video uh, as a ride home when we were only gonna do a commute in video. Look how wet the roads are, but we're gonna filter through. Yeah, this is a great thing about a small scooter like this. Thank God for the Klima's IP rating. We ended up finishing the, about, I think it was 15 miles or so this morning with 72% battery and then we had 61 volts before we left, so we'll see how much we have left. Um, I'm going to do a second relive for this portion of the video. So you, if you just finished watching the relive for the, for the morning portion, we'll have one for the evening portion right now. This time we're gonna take a little bit more of a straightforward approach home. We're not gonna blast it quite as hard because the, the roads are wet and there's plenty of uh, metal surfaces that can wipe us out and I'd rather not wipe out on Chuck's uh, <laughs> Klima. But we will still ride aggressively because that's how we have to ride here in New York. Oh, see, see, this you can't turn hard on because you will literally die. But you know, everyone, I'm, I'm really impressed with the battery life on the, on the Klima. Like we were pushing pretty hard this morning and I mean, we're, we're pushing pretty hard now. The front tires are slipping a little bit, but you know, to have 68% still. Really, really impressive. Okay, so. There we go. Ooh, what is this? Is this a street fair? Ah, see? Can't believe I missed the street fair because I was working. It sucks, but that's okay. I just realized, I think Chuck took off the front fender and I am getting sprayed on my trousers. See, we got to take this turn pretty gingerly. There's all that exposed metal there. And oh man, look at all these puddles, jeez. Jeez, look how wet these roads are. Drop these trousers off at the dry cleaner now. 
just got them back to the other day. See, once again, IP rating. IP rating is a thing, guys. Unless you live in the desert or in an area where it doesn't rain at all, which I assume is the desert, your scooter is going to need to be IP rated. Look at this. And it's not even about flying through the rain or riding through the rain. It's just there are times like this where it's the aftermath of the rain that you got to kind of deal with. And when you borrow a front scooter, make sure it's got fenders. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Look at this. Bipolar, like completely bipolar weather. Like I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I was not prepared for this at all. Me and this guy are drenched. Absolutely drenched. And that's the story of New York, everyone. Now, if you made it this far, thank you for watching the video. I truly appreciate you. And if you like this style of content, just make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me to know what you like and what you don't like. And it really helps out the channel. If you have any questions about my full day with the NAMI Klima, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. As you know, I'm very responsive and I'll be happy to answer to the best of my ability. If I don't have the ability to answer it, I will refer you to a source that may help you get the answers that you're looking for. Hey. man's got the good music and if you really like my content and you want to see more just make sure you hit that subscribe button my icon on the bottom right there will act as a subscribe button but just make sure you hit that uh that bell notification so i can notify you when new videos come out I'd really love to have you as part of the Ivan Rides family. Hey, look at that. It says Klima New York LLC. Oh, Jesus. Crazy enough, it's not even that wet here in Queens. Look at that, just like that, we are back on dry roads. Isn't this, this is insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, this man is a, uh, this man's vibing. Got all the good jams. Yeah, these tires, man. These tires are great. Please make it. Please make it. Ah, uh, it's okay. No one's there. I can still make it. Yay, loophole.
see it comes to a close. Thank you again, everyone. I truly appreciate your support. I hope you enjoyed this one. This one was a lot, to, a lot of fun to record. I'll be putting up the the relive video for this portion of the commute right after this, and then I'll also put up a photo of the battery with a voltage indicator next to it, so you know how much is actually left. Now this is amazing. Uh, this is the Klima 25 amp hour version, by the way. It's not even the, the max. So we are at 55% battery life. After about 20 miles today. So that's pretty amazing. I think you can confidently do 40 miles of hard city riding per charge with this one and probably a little bit more on the max so ride with confidence and with that being said we're finally back home so thank you everyone it was good to have you on board today i'll catch you in the next ride peace out